The Colossus computers were invented way back in 1943 with the target of decrypting secret communications within the Nazi regime. Alongside that, they were the world's first ever electrical, programmable, and digital computers, even though they did not make use of the stored program concept. However, the fact that their basic principle was based on switches, plugs, and vacuum tubes makes these computers ancestral to modern computers. A transistor is the basis of all modern computing. Two electrodes and a switch acting in cooperation with current is what generates the goodness on your computer screen. When the current in the input wire is off, the current in the output wire is also off. However, when the current in the input wire is on, then the current in the output wire is also on. This can be represented as binary or true and false values in a truth table. A slight tweak to this transistor makes it a NOT gate, which is key to Boolean logic. Connecting the output wire to the first electrode and replacing the second electrode with grounding or an earth wire makes this a NOT gate. When the current in the transistor is on, the current passes from the input wire to the ground wire without affecting the output, giving a false output for a true input. On the other hand, when the current in the transistor is off, the current flows from the input wire straight to the output wire, resulting in a true output from a false input. That makes sense, right? Connecting two simple transistors side by side creates an AND gate, another logic gate key to Boolean logic. Only when both inputs are true will the output be true. For all other combinations of inputs, the output will always be false. This too can be represented in a truth table. Moving up a level gives the OR gate, another logic gate that builds the basics of Boolean logic. Differences between an AND gate and an OR gate are minute, as both include true transistors. However, the transistors in an OR gate are arranged parallel to each other, while those in an AND gate are placed in a series circuit. An OR gate is rather strange. It can take in three combinations of inputs to produce a true output. For instance, this channel is Robotech and its main color is black. Now, the first statement is correct or true, however, the last statement isn't and therefore false. Even though one statement is false and an OR gate, still produces a true output. Same is the case for when both inputs are true. Thanks for watching the video and as usual do not forget to subscribe, like and share this video. This is Robotech signing off.